Hey YouTubers, the Collector 777 here with my latest haul video. This video consists of my latest pickups in terms of action figures, comic books, and retro video games. All from various thrift shops, uh, garage sales, and retro a couple of retro video game stores. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and start with the action figures. Um, some of these characters I have forgotten their names but I did recognize them um, I have I believe she is from the Marvel Vault series from the 90s I forgot her name um, this one there you go and this character if I remember correctly is from Earthworm Jim stamped 1995 shiny entertainment And, oh, I paid 25 cents a piece for these guys at, um, at a garage sale. Bebop. Not bad condition. A little bit of wear, but overall good. Very good. I got Dark Side. And two Power Rangers. I believe this is a Power Ranger. Um, he is stamped Bandai. So, there's this one. And an old school pink Power Ranger. There you go. So 25 cents a piece. Not bad. Now in terms of comic books. I did pick up a stack at a Goodwill that just opened up at a city near our area. Um, first off, I have picked a, I believe I picked these up for a dollar a piece. Transformers Armada, number one. Pretty good condition. Got Thundercats number one. Ninja Turtles three. And on the flip side, I have two. So two for one deal, not bad. Part of the reason why I picked it up. Um, Mini Marvels number one featuring Spidey. Supergirl number 16, Origin Revealed. Got Legion of Monsters number 1. Battle of the Planets number 1. And another Battle of the Planets number 1. The variation cover. Last but not least, I got Wolverine and Punisher number one from the Marvel Knight series. So, not bad for a buck a piece. Now, in terms... Oh, I forgot to add this. This was I found at my local Goodwill for, I believe, three bucks. I believe it's from G.I. Joe. It's um, the Life Raft. Great condition. I mean, stickers... Very minimal sticker wear. Um, it is stamped, I believe, 1986. I can't get that. 1986 Lanard Toys Limited. Or LTD, sorry. There's that. Three bucks. Always love picking up the old school um, G.I. Joe stuff. Now, in terms of... Um, retro video games these I picked up I believe at yes at uh, another Goodwill around my area first off of these were yeah they're various prices prices uh, I got for the Sega Genesis the ooze this was a dollar <clears throat> This I remember playing. I used to love playing this in arcades. Uh, WrestleMania, the arcade game for the Super Nintendo for a dollar. Couldn't pass this up. Dragon Warrior for a dollar. This one's a bit pricey, but I feel that it was worth it. For the GameCube, a complete copy of Resident Evil. This was ticketed at five dollars. I don't know how they get their prices, but still not bad for that title on that platform um, <clears throat> we got 
for Xbox, original Xbox, the Dead or Alive Ultimate box pack thingy. Paid three bucks for that, and three bucks for this on the for the Wii Mercury Meltdown Revolution. And let's see. Also got the box set of Grand Theft Auto Greatest Hits for three dollars. So not bad for the Goodwill. Um, I also found some more Goodwill goodness that I got a clip of. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys now. So, as you guys see, saw, there were some awesome titles um, in that little stack there. I only picked up two, and I'm pretty sure you guys um, could guess which two I picked up. Uh, the first one being Bomberman Generation Complete for the GameCube. And, of course, Mario Party 5 for the GameCube. It, each being three bucks a piece. So... That was an awesome score, in my opinion. Um, next, some more stuff that I picked up at Goodwill. Um, let's see. Yeah, some more GameCube titles. I got the Star Wars, the video game for two bucks. Uh, Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius for GameCube, two bucks. And two dollars, We Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. For two bucks and I thought this was a great deal uh, for the ps3 enemy and known for five dollars and forty cents I don't know how they came up with that price but still want to be able to check that out still sealed <clears throat> this I picked up at another uh, thrift store near my area this one was a dollar uh, for the PlayStation gunship complete and Twisted Metal 3 as well as a Game Boy Advance game Power Rangers Ninja Storm uh, this one was a dollar ninety-nine I believe if I'm reading that correctly so not bad um, a retro gaming store near my work got some Nintendo games in so I picked up a few uh, a little bit pricey, but I needed to add these some, uh, to my collection for $14. I got a uh, Konami game, The Lone Ranger. Don't see this too often. To the Earth. This game I needed because I had the box, but not the game. Black Box Baseball. And... Bandai Shooting Range. So you could use the light gun. So there's that. Now, I'm gonna make some room here because of my recent garage sale finds. I found all these at a garage sale, or a few garage sales this past weekend. Uh, pretty productive weekend, I should say because I did pick up a lot of stuff um, these games I believe I picked up for a dollar a piece um, just trying to make sure I sort them correctly yep I'm pretty sure I picked these up for a buck a piece if not uh, at most a dollar fifty see if I can get it all sorted okay so <clears throat> for the Wii I picked up uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings complete. What's that? Hasbro Family Game Nights for the Wii. Indiana Jones The Original Adventures for the Wii. All complete. 
And this I just picked up for a dollar because it was still sealed, but not really my cup of tea. Masters for the Wii. There's that. For the 360, I got Dynasty Warrior 7. Uh, let's see. Original Xbox. I just bundled this whole thing out. I believe it was out of one, at one garage sale. <clears throat> Original Xbox Lord of the Rings. Ghost Recon. Um, for the PlayStation 2, I got Dark Cloud. And Resident Evil Outbreak. Now, the beefy. Oh, I got another Wii game here. Sorry, I missed. That is uh, Paper Mario for the Wii for a dollar. Not bad. And let's see. Yep. Okay. Now comes the GameCube titles. This one. Yeah, this one I just threw in there because it was I pretty much sucked up all the games at that one garage sale and bundled it all. Um, GameCube NBA Courtside 2002. Uh, and now the best ones of the bunch, Animal Crossing, Super Mario Sunshine, And Super Smash Brothers Melee. But not just one, there were two. So, pretty awesome score to pick these up for a dollar a piece. Um, I forgot to include this in my, uh, my Goodwill haul. Uh, for two bucks, I was able to find Donkey Konga. My kids love this game. Because I found the um, conga drums at another Goodwill for a dollar. Which is downstairs right now because they are playing with it. Uh, now, at another yard sale, I scored a pretty... Let me just... Yeah. I need a lot of space. Significant original Nintendo haul. Um, not... No, uh, you know, jaw-dropping titles, but I, I feel it was pretty significant. I paid $20 for this lot, uh, which I felt was fair. Um, it came with uh, this Nintendo carrying case, as well as two of these guys. So let me just go ahead and go over these games with you quickly. Um, first off, we have, I mean, most of these games have their manuals, which is pretty cool, but no boxes. Um, Zelda's Revenge, Star Tropics 2, did come with the manual. Is that Iron Sword with Fabio. Goonies 2. With the manual, this lot did have uh, originally have uh, Zelda one and Zelda two as well as um, Pitfall, but the lady said she wanted to keep them, which you know, the mind nostalgia is always good, you know, keeping the memories. Faxanadu, we got uh, Double Dragon. Tetris yeah, Simon's Quest Simon's Quest manual as well as Faxanadu manual those were just stuck together um, it's weird how that's like I believe that's like the third um, Simon's Quest I found within a month maybe fourth so on to the next box, I got Metroid, Super Mario Brothers 2, as well as the Manuel, Ghosts and Goblins, 
along with manual and uh, it looks like a cup stain. Duck hunt. Duck hunt manual. Shadow gate. Shadow gate manual. Upside down. Got Star Force as well as the manual and on to the third bin we got let's see willow along with the manual karate champ Tengen Pac-Man, second one. Uh, another Dragon Warrior with manual. Dr. Mario. And behind Dr. Mario was the Double Dragon manual, which is awesome because I did not have that one. I used to love playing this game. I think it's a, if I remember correctly, there's a shooter. Um, Section Z. With manual. Ice Climber. There's the manual that goes with it. What else? Gradius. Commando. Original Castlevania with manual Vegas Dream Got Salmon's Key with manual Rygar and the manual and I believe last but not least two I have Cuckoo Land with manual and this one I was needing for my collection we got Final Fantasy so even before she brought these out I asked her if she had any games and the first three games that she brought out were um, Game Boy games and they were these ones uh, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons there's that Pokemon Silver in great condition trying to get it to focus focus there you go and this is only the second time I ever found this game in the wild, and that is Pokemon Crystal. So for 20 bucks, I felt that was an awesome deal. She even uh, said, if you want to go lower, I said, no, I'm, I'm content with $20. I didn't want to, you know, like, lowball her too much. Um... And actually today there was a yard sale that I went to um, that I knew the guy, he's a, he's a reseller, I ran across him a couple times at uh, yard sales. But um, his tools are his kids. Um, they're the ones who look them up, look the games up online and see how much they're worth. But luckily for me, they were sleeping at the time that I, uh, I hit up his garage sale. So I picked this up for $15, which, you know, it's like a... Um, average reseller price because typically I would get these get this bunch for five bucks but I felt that it was pretty uh, worth it for at 15 um, I did get the AC adapter I guess this could be used for the original um, SP uh, Game Boy Advance or the original DS I believe if I remember correctly um, got that I got a jumper pack for a Nintendo 64. You never know when you're going to need one. If you find a Nintendo 64 that doesn't have one. Um, 
this wireless adapter for the Game Boy Advance. This one pretty much pays for the whole lot itself. It's the WaveBird adapter, original Nintendo. And three games. We got for the DS, Rayman DS. Super Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy. And this game I did not have for the, uh, I believe it's for the original Game Boy. Kirby's Tilt and Tumble. Looks like a fun game. And a nice, awesome pink case, casing here. I'm trying to get it to focus. There you go. And now, um, what I did again is I grabbed all my doubles and tried to beef up my Super Nintendo collection. And these are the two games that I picked up. Um, that I am so happy to add to my collection as you guys know I am a huge Mega Man fan um, I always have games are extremely difficult in my opinion the original ones um, but what I did manage to pick up or to add to my collection in terms of trades for my extras I got for the Super Nintendo Mega Man X2 an extremely pricey game but nonetheless, I am happy to add this to my collection. And the creme de la creme complete in box Mega Man X3. So I cannot be more, I cannot, uh, see I can't even talk. I, I am so stoked to add this to my collection because to even have a complete in box is really awesome. Um, I don't understand why my cameras acting weird but anyways folks uh there you have it i just want to share with you guys my latest haul in terms of comic books action figures and retro gaming and as always happy hunting and thank you so much for watching there you go